In this video, we are going to introduce time domain analysis or time response analysis. So, here this time domain analysis or time response analysis is very important in control systems topic. Why? Because you know whatever the signals we are going to consider in time response analysis or time domain analysis or varies with the time. So, here uh, whatever the signals you are considering like R of T as reference input, C of T as control output. So, all those you are taking with respect to time. So, that is why this time analysis, time domain analysis or time response analysis is very important. Then what is meant by this time response analysis means, so you know, so response is nothing but output of the system. So, time response analysis is nothing but variation of the output of the system with respect to time is called as time response analysis. That means, so if time is varying, so with the time what is the variation of output of a system. So, that means we need to see the variation of output C of t. So, that is called as time response analysis. With this time response analysis, we can study the stability of the system, accuracy of the system. So, we can study the system by using this time response analysis. So, this is very important throughout the control system. How we will calculate this time response means time response is nothing but output with respect to time. So, up to now we discussed our output in terms of transform that means we consider as frequency domain. Frequency domain of the output up to now we consider in our previous videos to calculate transfer function or gain. So, that means you consider C of S, but here time response analysis. So, you are going to calculate your output with respect to time. So, that that is meant by the output in time in terms of time C of t you are going to calculate. So, here I am going to consider a control system. So, here I am having a control system like this. So, here I am giving a signal R of t. So, now here I am having a gain uh, this is open loop gain G of S and here you are having C of S. So, here as previous you just consider like uh, transforms why because you are uh, open loop gain and uh, forward path gain if they given in terms of Laplace transform then here R of S is the input transform, output transform, open loop gain and feedback gain if you consider that is equivalent to H of S. So, you know this is a negative feedback control system you know this is a negative feedback control system. For example, if you want to do time response analysis for this system, you need to find out the output. So, how you will find out the output, how you will find out the time response analysis means, so you need to get the output with respect to time. That means, you need to get C of t. So, here you know that from the knowledge of negative feedback system, you know that the transfer function T of S is equal to C of S by R of S is equal to so G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, this is the transfer function of this negative feedback system. So, that means so open loop gain divided by 1 plus open loop gain into feedback gain. So, this is the transfer function of negative feedback system transfer function is nothing but output transform by input transform. So, by this I can write the equation for C of S, C of S is equal to R of S into G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, ultimately to get time response, so how we will get? So, time response means output with respect to time that means you need to get C of t for that take inverse Laplace transform on both sides. So, you will get C of t is equal to la inverse transform of R of s into G of s divided by 1 plus G of s into H of s. Like this way we can get our time response of this system. 
So now coming to types of response. So here we are having two types of time responses that is transient response and second one is steady state response. So transient response is nothing but response of the system which varies with time. So coming to steady state response, so steady state response of a system won't change with time. So it will come, it will come um, constantly. So for example, if you are having, if you are having any response C of t like this, this is t and on y axis I am going to consider C of t. If your response is like this, so up to here it is varying. From here to here this is constant. So this is called as transient response. So from here to here this is transient response of the system and uh, steady state response of the system from here to this constant value where you will get up to where you, you are going to get this constant value. So up to that point so that is steady state response that means so you can observe here so this response is varying with time if you are increasing your time this is going to vary but here in this place if you are varying time also your response is not going to vary it is like a constant it is in steady state so this is transient response this is steady state response we are having two types of responses here so we will have two types of responses here one is transient response which varies with time and another one is steady state response which won't vary with the time as the name indicates it will have a steady value like this so the best example response for these two responses is like this if you are time response or output of the system is like this then up to here we, we can say that is a tra transient response and up to from here to that steady state value you will call that as a steady state response. This is about introduction of time domain analysis and time or uh, time response analysis. We can call it as time domain analysis or time response analysis. This is very important. Uh, very important chapter you can say in terms of gate. So we, we will get uh, some two marks questions, one mark questions from this unit. So this introduction is also very important. So how many types of responses we are having that point is also very important. So you just need to know the difference between transient and steady state. So this is the simple difference between transient and steady state. This is about the introduction of time domain analysis.